Good morning, peeps. It is 5.45 a.m. on day nine. My group said something last night about not hiking this morning, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with not hiking in the morning. But apparently what they were saying was night hiking in the morning. So here we are, trudging along, about to climb a big mountain. There's not much for you to see, so I will get back to you soon. Cute little berry bush I don't think I've seen before. <laughs> hey peeps, the sun's now up so <laughs> We're off to a good start. I think it's about, dang, I can't remember what time it is. It's either 7.45 or 8.45, something like that. But yeah, sun's out. It's like a beautiful day. It was looking like a chance to rain yesterday, but I think it's maybe cleared up. It's only a small chance, but as we've learned, could get a flood, could get hell, could get snow. You just never know. <laughs> yeah, beautiful hike. A lot of cool plants we're seeing. Everybody's liking that. Some junipers. Detour knows some of them. So I think she just graduated college and studied a little bit of that. So, yeah, it's beautiful, those Di different kind of cactuses than we've been normally seeing. Here, I'll show them to you. They're kind of like little stubby fire hydrant looking cactuses. Let me show you. Yeah, see those right there. Yeah, definitely seeing some new stuff as we gradually get northbound. But yeah, very cool. I mean, it's incredible <laughs> um, to have like. I mean, pretty much day nine, and we pretty much had a good view the entire trail, unless it was socked in or something. Like, this PCT is not over advertised. It is pretty awesome. a wide open view actually a house right there in the middle Let's see if I can zoom in yeah there's a little house right there in the middle of all of this so interesting Whew, definitely get more in the desert desert that is for sure. I'm in the struggle bus a little bit, but it's only about noon or whatever, but we've been hiking since 5 30, so and it's hot. We're on a 14 mile water carry. I'm down to like a half a liter, so should be good. We're on the last climb. I think we're gonna take lunch at the top. And then it's like three miles to the water. So I'm just taking my time. That's what I do when I'm you know I'm getting like low in water dehydrated. Just kind of take my time, especially in the heat. I hate the sun. Like I like a good cloudy, cool day, but get everything out here that's for sure so yeah still got beautiful views so, yeah hanging in there anyway i'll touch base with you guys when i get to lunch hopefully <laughs> oh my goodness you just never know around here like you can be struggling one minute next thing you know you're flying down the trail it's hit or miss so i definitely got to eat better 
and drink better for sure. Kind of messed up my breakfast shake this morning. It was too thick. I couldn't stomach it. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get some better food. Warner Springs is supposed to have a convenience store with some good hot dogs. So, that's right up my alley. I think I've got enough food otherwise, but I'm still going to pack out some hot dogs because they they always do me right. And I get them for breakfast, believe it or not, like anytime. So, for some reason, I can always keep them on my stomach. So, Whew. anyway, I'll let you guys go and let me see if I can catch up with the group. Okay, we stopped for a little break. Feeling much better. Had a couple of jerky sticks and some dried pickle chip things and some water. And Freak Out was nice enough to give me like a half a liter of her water because she had enough. So good teammates out here. So we're all hiking towards the water cache. It's about three more miles. Then we're gonna kind of figure out a game plan from there. We gotta draw some stuff out as always, <laughs> it seems. Um, and then figure out where we're going tonight. We're, our next stop is Warner Springs, basically just to the post office because we got resupply boxes. And the post office closes at four. So we didn't think there was much of a chance of getting there um, tomorrow, but if we push a little extra today, we might be able to hike early tomorrow and get there. So, which will be nice because we're watching some weather in Idlewild this weekend. It's like a pretty good chance of snow and it's kind of the worst case. Like snow is not bad and rain is not bad, but when you get like temperatures around 30 to 35 with rain and or snow, it really, really makes it tough so we'll try to figure that out when it comes and it looks like it's only 40 50 percent chance now so I may not get anything you never can tell around here so anyway that's kind of where we're at so i'm gonna keep on hiking on i'll touch base with y'all at the water cache oh my gosh gotta be careful here like even on a dry day just erosion and things the trail is pretty good but like if you take one wrong step like the result is a tumble straight down for like I don't know two or three hundred feet probably yeah I would <laughs> especially with all the at my size I'd gain a lot of momentum so that wouldn't be good but you just got to be careful it's just a little bit different than AT AT you kind of hike up straight over the mountain but it's not much chance of falling off the side but out here like it's not too steep but you're basically circumventing all the mountains on a little ridge like this so you're probably good I guess worst case you run across like a rattlesnake <laughs> it makes you jump and the next thing you know bad news but I always on the lookout we've only seen one snake that was the first day of the trail just kind of going across ahead of us I didn't even get video of it but I'm sure we'll see some it's starting to warm up so <laughs> back at the brake stop I was reminded of the classic movie blazing saddles <laughs> I rolled up there like with about like, no water, <laughs> parched to death, like had a little bit of water left. But anyway, <laughs> I was running the movie Blazing Saddles where Chevy Chase, Martin Short, and Steve Martin are out riding in the desert, been out for days or whatever on their horses and they're riding slow. It's like heat beating down on them and they go to a shot of Steve Martin, he turns up his canteen and he gets just a few drops of water. Then they pan over to Martin Short. He turns up his canteen and like just sand comes out. <laughs> then they go to Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase turns up his canteen. There's like, it's like a full canteen. He was like gargling with it and spitting it out. <laughs> like, this is exactly what happened because I put up to the break spot and both freak out and just Chris were both brushing their teeth <laughs> at lunch with plenty of water. I was like, I thought it was pretty funny. But anyway, but yeah, Freak Out gave me some water, so it was all cool. But <laughs> I was laughing so hard about that. Oh my gosh, the views are incredible. Like, I almost don't even know how to vlog, because like, if I take a photo of everything that's amazing, like I'll take a thousand photos a day, and it's just like all beautiful. It's all so cool. So highly recommend so far. Definitely highly recommend. I gotta be honest, I do not know what this sign means. S2, S21 Mountain? S21 Michigan? S dash? I have no idea. Well, there's an arrow pointing like just into some bushes, so. Uh -uh, maybe it's the name of the mountain. I have no idea on that one.
Oh my gosh, I'm not sure how that filmed, but I was busy trying to catch that first like B-52, I don't know what it is. <laughs> like some kind of military plane, jet, whatever, but like I was trying to film it and another one came like right across the top of me. I mean, it was so loud. I swear it was like 200 yards over my head. <laughs> like I almost fell off the side of the mountain. Oh my goodness. Whew. I haven't seen uh, any warnings about that on far out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's incredible how they fly those though, oh my goodness. Whew. I'm awake now, for sure. Okay, we made it to the water cache, super exciting. Got a little funnel, they asked us to just use three liters, no problem. And look at their water, water, I don't know how they got it here, maybe on an ATV or something. And then I guess you dump your empty bottles over here, pretty cool. Time we are pushing towards the camp. Ooh, believe it or not, I'm in the lead. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, we got one or two miles more to whatever campsite we can find. Ooh, I can beat today. We started early, we're gonna end up looks like about 18 miles or so. It just depends where we can find a good camp spot. So, I did have my first gear break. Um, just a bunch of heavy shrubbery I had to fight through and broke my chest right out, but not a huge deal. I'll probably get a fix when I get in town or something. It's not not the most crucial one on the backpack, that's for sure. So, so anyway, just gonna touch base that one more time. Now I gotta finish out some hiking. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching. A pretty cool little cave here. It'd be good in a storm, I guess, unless you got flooded out, or unless some unknown creature crawled in there with you. Okay, peeps, so <laughs> bonus update. I know I said I was stopping earlier, but I actually walked by the campsite, <laughs> and um, like it was just like hidden. I never saw it. Uh, apparently, it's hard to see. <laughs> so anyway, my folks I've been hiking with, we got them. They were trying to yell at me and tell me where it was, but like it was so far back. I decided, I told him I'd just hike on to the next one, which was just like 1.4. Then I got there and it was just, I mean, I don't know how they called it a campsite because like I didn't see a flat spot for days. But anyway, I'm running low on water anyway, so I decided to just hike on to the spring and tent sites. So this will end up being a pretty big day. I don't know the exact number um, yet, but anyway, I'll post it uh, right here. <laughs> When I figure it out before I before I send this out on YouTube, so so anyway, yeah, I'm gonna be definitely over 20 miles, maybe 23. I mean, I might set my record. My record on the AT was 23.1, so I don't know if I'll break that because I'm stopping at that spring no matter what. So, like I said, I didn't have much water, and that's the next water. So, ooh, a different animal out here in the desert. So, anyway, again, thank you for watching, <laughs> and I will catch you in the next one.